signature SG. So let's start doing another interesting word problem on fraction. Let's start with reading the question first. At first, two by seven of the pupils in the class were boys. Then 22 boys from another class came over. Now, three by five of the pupils were boys. How many pupils were there in the class at first? Okay, so what we have here is at first, two by seven of the pupils in the class were boys. So I hope you know that uh, pupils means the total number is the students, right? So students or pupils could be, uh, are in, includes both, right? So uh, when we say pupils, it's boys, it's boys as well as the girls, right? So yes. Now, what do we have here is uh, two by seven of the pupils in the class were boys. Okay, so that means let's say at first, okay, at first, what do we have? Boys and of course girls, right? Okay, how many boys do we have? Two by seven of the pupils in the class were boys. That means there are seven unit of students in the class. Okay, the total number of students or pupils in the class is seven. And out of that, the number of boys are two units. Okay, right? That's what we get from here. So let's write it. So boys are two units. And the girls, how many, how many, how many units of girls will be there? They will be obviously seven unit which is the total number of students minus the number of the number of units of boys so that will give us seven units minus two units will give us five units right now what happened then 22 boys from another class came over yeah looks like right quite dis uh, not not proportionate right boys are two units and girls are five units so boys are a lot lesser right so yeah so maybe 22 boys from another class came over then what happened the fraction changes right obviously more boys are there so the fraction of uh, student uh, the boys and girls will change now let's say at end then what happened after 22 more boys come came into the class now the boys are 2 by 5 of the total number of students or pupils right so we can say here again at the end boys are how many units see three units right so boys are three units and how about the girls okay the girls are the girls will be five unit minus three unit right because the total number of students at the end right the total number of students at the end are five unit and the boys were three unit so five minus three right it will give you two units now the thing is see in the question right they are talking about 22 boys coming uh, over from another class but they never said anything about the girls right they never said uh, some of the girls are coming or some of the girls are leaving right so they didn't talk about girls that means what that means the number of girls should remain the same right so one fact is the the number of girls right number of girls uh, at first at first and at the end at the end should be same right should be same why because none of the girls left the class and neither any of them came into the class so the number of units of girls should be same however you see here at first the girls were five units but later the girls became two unit but they should be same now how do we make five unit here and two unit here same right we, we just can't directly you know uh, they, they are not multiple of each other right two and five they are not multiple of they are none of them are multiple of each other so the only way out is to find the least common multiple of five and two 
okay so as you must have learned this in primary four right so what's the least common what's the least common multiple multiple of of two and five right of two and five it is ten right it is ten the least common multiple of two and five is ten that means the nearest we can make we can make each of them like the girls here and at first and at the end equal to ten right because that is the minimum uh, that's the least common multiple of both right so how do I make this 5 here 10 right how can I make this 5 unit here 10 just multiply it by 2 right if you multiply 5 by 2 you will get 10 units right but remember with whatever number you are multiplying the number of units of girls you have to multiply the with the same number the units of boys right otherwise their fraction will change right we have to make sure that their fraction doesn't change earlier it's two by uh, two by five right so now it should be also later also it should be uh, uh, two by five because if you simplify uh, four is to ten you will get two by five right they are equivalent fraction right now same ways in the same way we have to make here the number of girls here also ten how do we do what do we do multiply 2 by 5 right so what do we get here 10 units now don't forget to multiply here as well here also the number of boys by 5 right so that will give you how many units 3 times 5 15 units right uh, again for the same reason the ratio uh, the fraction should not change right here it was 3 is to 2 right now also 15 by 10 will all again give you 3 is to 2 right 3 by 2 okay now see here now the number of girls at first and at the end same right they are same now both are at both the places they are 10 units but observe the number of units of boys which is now earlier 4 unit now at the end they become they became 15 units right so there is a decree there is an increase in the number of unit of boys right there is an increase earlier it was 4 later it becomes 15 right so why why do you think there is an increase in the number of units of boys it's because 22 more boys from another class came over because more boys came to this class so as so since the number of boys increases the number of units of boys also increases so let the so let's do first one thing find the change in the number of units of boy boys right so the change the change in uh, the number number of units of boys units of boys will be how much it's later 50 un 15 unit earlier it was 4 units right so we can say 15 unit minus 4 unit will give you 11 unit right there is a change of 11 unit in the number of units of boys in the number of boys right and this 11 unit there is an increase of 11 unit is because 22 more boys came from another class so that from here we can say that this 11 unit is equal to 22 right that means one unit is equal to 22 divided by 11 that will give us one unit is equal to 2 right now we but now since we know how much is one unit let's read the question how many people were there in the class at first okay how many people means the total number of students including both boys and girls are were there in the class at first so at first we have four unit of boys and 10 unit of girls right so we can say that total total units of pupils when at first right not at the end because at the end it changed so at first four unit plus ten unit 
right so 4 unit plus 10 unit will give you 14 units right 14 units now so if we can easily calculate what's the total number of people right so total uh, number of pupils at first would be it's very easy now 14 unit right so it's 14 times 2 because one unit is 2 right that will give you 28 right so we can quickly write our answer right what's the answer the how many people were there in the class at first there were 28 people right so that's the solution hope you enjoyed keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you